Hello, I'm Zara Mama here. My name is Nina, and today we are going to do a tray. And I want to try out these chameleon powders that I got from Timu. Um, I get these sent to me for free to try out and show you guys how they work. I do have a code for new users. My code is FAV58254. Um, so what I want to do is take and put all 18 on this tray, just kind of scattered around, all jumbled up. So I'm not doing this in no particular order. I'm just going to open them up one by one. And just kind of dust on here with a makeup brush. I like using makeup brushes on the powders because they're softer. Put the kit back on quite a bit. So this one's another red. I'm just kind of picking them up. Some of them still have the seal. Some of those seals get stuck in the cap. This one's like a pretty grayish, I kind of really scattered that one. I thought this would be a good project to kind of show all of them. And this is a pretty green color. Pretty purpley color. A pink with some green to it. It's gorgeous blue. An orange. It's a pretty interesting color. It's like a, I don't know, like a brownie goldy color. And this one's a white. More coppery colors. 
some of these are like very similar. A bright yellow. Another coppery one. Sometimes it just looks a little bit more brown. This is a pretty like blue to purple. Another blue. It has like a pink shift to it. I'm getting out of room. Let's see, we got three, six, seven. Yep. I'm trying to make sure I didn't lose any underneath my heating mat. This is a brownie color. And then we have a pretty purple. I'm just kind of rubbing the pigments in and then I will add more. I'm just using um, some of the white to really coat like the edges and stuff, make sure everything's covered.
looks pretty good. So I'm going to put all these lids on and knock the extra out. And then I'll be back with some resin to pour this. Alright, so I'm back. I have some resin mixed up. It's just some resin I got from Amazon. It doesn't have a brand name on it, but it's a one-to-one -one ratio. I mixed up six ounces. Probably too much, but I'm not sure how much I need. And I can always pour it into other stuff. I'm going to use some black mica just where it looks pretty on the back side as well. And that way if I pour it, if I put it into other stuff, it still looks pretty. Well, that's probably not enough resin. So I don't know why this isn't even my board to even. Now it looks like it's staying pretty even, maybe. Alright, I'm going to bless this with my heat gun and mix up some more resin to pour it in here, and I'll be right back. 
All right, so I mixed up another eight ounces of resin so I could finish pouring this. And I already added in the mica, it's just the same mica I used before. Oh, and it was the same resin. that all finished and I will let it cure and be back to demold it. I'm actually thinking about shaping it to a tray that I have to make it kind of fold up a little bit. So I will be back to do that before it's fully cured when it's still a little soft. All right so I'm going to try something I've never done before. I'm going to take this and try to mold it onto here. So it's still pretty bendy, which is what I want. Not pretty. Let's see if I can get it centered.
So I'm writing the corners just because I think that will look better. I'm going to stick something heavy on here to try to hold it down a little bit. And then I will be back whenever it finishes curing and we'll see how it turns out. Alright, so I am back. I did get it to cure a little bit, bowed up, um, there was some issues. So the corners kind of sank a little bit while I was sleeping, so they came out a little funky and I had stuck some <laughs> resin jugs on top to weigh it down a little bit and then they ended up leaving some indentions here. Um, I still think it turned out really pretty. Um, so, yeah, definitely going to have to try something a little bit different next time. Um, don't know what right now, but I would definitely have to try something a little bit different. You can see where the tray kind of left some marks. But I think it turned out really pretty, and I think it will look really cute on my desk or on a shelf or something in my room after we move I thought it would look really cute with like some beauty stuff on there like just sitting on there like that I thought that would look really cute so definitely not a piece I would sell um because it's pretty messed up but definitely a piece I would keep I wouldn't throw this away I think it is pretty and fun and going to look nice on a like a counter or something so the colors are really pretty and they do have some nice effect to them more pieces are coming to show some more of the effects of those pigments so stay tuned for that thank you so much for spending part of your day with me if you like videos like this please like and subscribe it really helps me out and i hope you all have a wonderful day thank you so very much bye